Hello and uh, warm greetings. 2020 has been challenging for everyone. The coronavirus has affected us all, our families, our friends. It has affected the way uh, we live, the way we work, and even the way we celebrate our holidays. In this difficult year, you, our men and women in uniform, have once again stepped up to the mark. Your contributions of transport, military field hospitals and medical support have been essential to help fight the virus and to save lives. In addition to this support to the civilian efforts in combating the pandemic, you have continued to provide security for NATO's nearly 1 billion people. With strong deterrence and defense, on land, at sea, in the air and in cyberspace, keeping us all safe. So I want to thank all of you, wherever you are, in Afghanistan, Kosovo, Iraq, in one of our maritime operations or air policing missions. As part of NATO's forward presence in the east of the Alliance, the NATO command structure, or here at the NATO headquarters. Your service means so much to me and to the people and countries you serve. I am forever grateful for the sacrifices you and your families make to keep us safe at home and strong as an alliance. Together, we are preparing NATO for the future to ensure we can continue to defend all allies against any threat. For this, we need to keep NATO strong. It starts with strong military forces. It starts with you. I wish you and your families all the best for the holiday season. Stay safe and stay healthy.